In this section, we're going to talk about trigonometric ratios. When you hear about trigonometry, you hear usually bad con or negative connotations about it. It's really not <laughs> as complicated because it's really ratios, and just like we've been talking about with similar triangles. So let's say you have two similar triangles whose sides, side lengths are A, B, and C, and we have a similar triangle, like here, D, E, F. We know that the ratios between A and B over here have to hold the same equal to the ratio between D and E, right? And that, in fact, are true for all similar triangles or similar polygons. And those ratios, because they always hold the same, for right triangles, we call those trigonometric ratios. There are three different ratios we can set up, such as sine, cosine, and tangent. And we'll talk about sine first. Let's start with sine. Let's say we have a right triangle like this, and we have A, B, C. So we have angle A, angle B, angle C, and the opposite sides are going to be A, B, C, just small letters. It says the sine of an angle, let's say, let's take A, sine of angle A is a ratio of the length of the leg opposite the angle. What is the length of the leg opposite the angle? Well, we have A as the angle, so opposite the angle will be small a, right? We have the opposite the angle to the length of the hypotenuse, which in this case is C. And in our case, hypotenuse is always going to be that C there. But this can also look different. What if we said, hey, let's have the reference angle be B, not A. If we're talking about sine of B, this is a ratio between the opposite side, right? The opposite side, which in this case, if you're talking about angle B, side B is opposite from the angle B, right? And the hypotenuse is still going to be C. So sine of an angle is really whatever the side length that is opposite from that angle, we'll say opposite leg, over the hypotenuse. That's just a ratio. Sine of an angle is just a ratio between the two side lengths. Cosine goes the same way. Cosine is a sorry. The cosine of an angle is the ratio of the length of the of the leg adjacent to the angle. So it's a little different. It's the ratio between this and the length of the hypotenuse. Let's see it in a triangle. Let's say let's recreate that ABC triangle. Triangle ABC. So the cosine of an angle, let's start with A. Cosine of an angle is a ratio of the length of the leg adjacent to the angle. So if you're looking at A, what side is adjacent to that angle? It will be B. It will be the one that's next to it, B, over the length of the hypotenuse, which in this case is C. The hypotenuse will always be hypotenuse. Some of you might be thinking, well, the hypotenuse C is actually um, also adjacent to angle A, but hypotenuse in a right triangle will always be hypotenuse. When we talk about opposite or adjacent, we're talking about the opposite or adjacent leg here, leg over here. Um, let's see what cosine of B might look like. Cosine of B would be the ratio between, ratio of the leg that is adjacent to the angle, and that is A, which is adjacent, over C, the hypotenuse. 
So cosine of a theta, or this is just a placeholder for an angle, cosine of an angle is a ratio between the side lengths that are adjacent or adjacent the side length of the adjacent leg over the hypotenuse. Tangent talks about the ratio between the lengths of the opposite leg and the adjacent leg. So if we have A, B, C again, then tangent of A, angle A, will be referring to the ratio between the length of the leg opposite A over the length of the leg adjacent B, which means tangent of B will be, if we're talking about B over here, the ratio between the opposite side length over the adjacent side length. So depending on which angle you're talking about, tangent is going to give you the reciprocal. So tangent of a theta or a tangent of any angle measure, uh, in this case, uh, for right triangles, it'll be one of the acute angles, will be the opposite leg over the adjacent leg. So here's an example. Before we jump into the example, uh, let's quickly talk about, let's quickly recap the three ratios. Sine of theta, theta just meaning what the angle that we're talking about is the reference angle we're talking about, is the ratio between the opposite leg over hypotenuse, whereas cosine of theta is the ratio between cos, uh, sorry, not cosine, adjacent leg length and and the hypotenuse the tangent of theta is the ratio between opposite side length and the adjacent so let's take a look at this one what if we are asked what sine of r is sine of angle r we're looking at this angle sine refers to the relationship the ratio between opposite side length and the hypotenuse. The opposite side length from R is 12 and the hypotenuse is 13. But what if we were to ask, what if we were asked sine of S? Well, looking at from S, you can see that 5 is the length of the opposite leg and 13 remains to be the hypotenuse. What about cosine? Cosine of r, uh, let's erase this. Cosine of r, if you're looking at from r, is a ratio between the adjacent side and the hypotenuse, uh, hypotenuse. So the adjacent side is five units long and hypotenuse is 13, whereas cosine of s will be referring to the ratio between the op, uh, adjacent side over hypotenuse. That means tangent of R will be referring to the relationship between the ratio between the opposite side. So if you're looking at R, the opposite side is 12, whereas the adjacent side will be 5. You see that? Opposite, adjacent, and tangent of S will be looking at from S, what is the opposite side? Well, the opposite side has the length of 5, and the adjacent side has the length of 12. So this is how you look at a triangle and compare the ratios. These have cool implications when we talk about special right triangles, because they always have this these dimensions, right? You might have learned them as x, x root 3, 2x, but this means when you take sine of 30 degrees, that's going to be the ratio between the opposite and the hypotenuse. Opposite side of the 30 degrees is always going to be x, where 
the hypotenuse is going to be 2x. So when you reduce the x's, we have 1 half. That means sine of 30 is always going to be 1 half. What about cosine of 30? Cosine of 30, if you're looking at from 30 degrees over here, is referring to the ratio between adjacent side, which is x root 3, over hypotenuse, 2x. So when we reduce the x's there, we have square root 3 over 2, which is always cosine of 30, given this triangle. What about sine of 60? Well, if you're looking at from 60, the opposite side is x root 3, and the j, uh, hypotenuse is 2x. So when we reduce, ooh, seems to be the opposite from cosine of 30, or same thing as cosine of 30, then you can kind of guess what cosine of 60 will be. Cosine of 60 will be adjacent side over hypotenuse, and this will indeed be, indeed be um, same as sine of 30. So what about tangent? Let's see what tangent of 30 and tangent of 60 would look like. Tangent of 30 would be looking at from 30, opposite over adjacent. So it's x over x root 3. We can reduce. So that's 1 over root 3. If we rationalize it, it's root 3 over 3. Tangent of 60 would be looking at from 60 and comparing the ratio or comparing the sides and putting the ratio of opposite over hypotenuse sorry op opposite over adjacent and that's just root 3 these become actually very important numbers to know as you go higher math calculate these on the calculator is actually really easy you just have to plug them in right sign and then the angle measure, just like you see over here, sine of 60, cosine of 60. Oh, we, we've seen those numbers before. But anyway, so you just type it in. But you have to be careful because if you see over here in the little window up there, that DEG, which means degrees, has to be the setting. And how do you set it? If you look on the left here, go to shift setup over here shift and then press menu which is going to get you the setup you will see this screen which has degree at the bottom sometimes your calculators will be set to radians or let's say rad you want this to be degrees so it's change degree before you use your calculator so let's practice a little bit here we're looking for the length of JK. Let's call that X, shall we? If you're looking for that, here's the way. Here's the way to solve for right triangles. Meaning we're solving for the unknown values. We we want to know what this is. We know what these are, right? So we want to use these to figure out what X is. Well, we know the re relationship. We know the ratio between pretty much any two pairs so we're gonna we're gonna do this we're, we'll say something one some sort of ratio of 61 equals something that involves this one and this one what is X compared to when you look at it from 61 well that's the opposite isn't it it's the side that's opposite from 61 if, we're, if 61 is a reference angle, 2.5, you might say is adjacent, but is actually hypotenuse. Remember how hypotenuse is always a hypotenuse, although it might be next to the angle, it always is next to some angle, it's going to be hypotenuse. This will be the adjacent side. So we're looking at the relationship between opposite side and hypotenuse. That ratio, we learned, was sine. So let's set up the ratio. Sine of 61 degrees is the ratio between opposite over hypotenuse. 
that's the most important step of this. You want to set it up saying, hey, here's the reference angle. What are the two things that we're comparing in relation to that angle? In this case, we realized that these were opposite and hypotenuse. And the ratio that compares opposite and hypotenuse is sine. So what you're going to do is to plug in sine 61 into the calculator, uh, which happens to be about 0 0.875. If you put it into the calculator, make sure it's in degrees. And we know hypotenuse is 2.5. What you're going to do is just multiply by 2.5 on both sides. And voila, we have x, which is the length of jk, just like that. We didn't have to use Pythagorean theorem. We could just use sine, which is a powerful tool which compares the um, two side lengths. Take a look at this triangle. We have this reference angle. So we're looking at 25. We're wondering what xz is. Let's call that, let's call that x again. What are, before we solve for this x, we need to first determine what these side lengths are compared to our reference angle, 25 degrees. Well, I think x here that we're looking at is the hypotenuse, and this one is the adjacent, isn't it? And this is the opposite. There's always one adjacent, one opposite, and one hypotenuse. And hypotenuse, you know, is the longer side. So x in this case is going to be hypotenuse, and 33 inches, that's going to be the length of the adjacent side. The ratio that compares adjacent side and hypotenuse is cosine. So cosine of 25 will be comparing the, ratio, the side lengths of adjacent side and the hypotenuse. So what we're going to do is plug in cosine of 25 into the calculator, which happens to be 0.9015. And we're going to multiply both sides by x. And divide both sides by 0 0.906. Let's see what that is. Uh, 33 divided by 0.906. That will be 36 four inches. So that is the hypotenuse using cosine. So again, you set up the ratio knowing what the reference angle is and what the, what the relationships of the side lengths that you're given are in relation to the reference angle. In this case, we knew it was adjacent and hypotenuse. And then you find the ratio, such as cosine, that relates those two and solve for x. Last one. Let's use a different color just for kicks and giggles. We're looking for EF. Let's change that up too. Hmm. Let's solve for y here in this case. We have reference angle as 12. y is our opposite, right? And 83.1 is our adjacent. And hypotenuse is unknown, but that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for this opposite side length. But the relationship, the, the ratio that compares the opposite and the adjacent side is tangent. So tangent of 12 must mean the ratio between y over 83.1, the adjacent. So you see opposite, adjacent. So you're going to take out your calculator. Make sure it's in degrees. Put tangent 12 in, which happens to be 0 0.213. And when you multiply 83.1 on both sides, y happens to be 17.66 meters. And that is how you use sine, cosine, tangent.